Grizzlies fans, it's another Grizz game day update tonight. Your Grizzlies will take on the Utah Jazz for the fourth and final time this season. Tip-off is at 7 p.m. Joining me for the fourth time this season is Niall Campbell. Niall, you ready for this one? I am so ready and so excited. You already know that whenever the Jazz play the Grizzlies, it's always a showdown, and it's just an exciting game to watch. It is, and they've been exciting. Um Every all, all three of the games, the home team has won. So the Grizzlies obviously looking to even out the series with another win here at home. They're also looking to get 35 wins before the all-star break. That's only the third time they would have done that in franchise history. So let's talk about the actual game that's happening then. So the first the two out of the three of the last games that the Grizzlies have played the Jazz, Jaw has not played. The last game against the Jazz, Colin Sexton didn't play. It looks like tonight we have Colin, we have Jaw. The star power between these two point guards going head to head. What excites you about that? No, I mean, first of all, like we have to talk, we have to talk about the elephant in the room. I mean, the, this Jazz team is a lot different than uh, mm -hmm. what the Grizzlies faced three times earlier this season. Um, like you said, we haven't well, we haven't played much against Jaw um, this season, so it'll be exciting to be able to have two of these healthy rosters. We love a good healthy roster. Yeah. Um, to see them go out there and compete. I would love to see you guys hit 35 wins, but if it's a 35th win against us, I don't know how I feel about that one. So sorry about that. But yeah, no, I think Jaw and Colin, um, I'm really excited to see these two go head for head, especially because their, their style of play is different, but they're both really, really fast. They're fast guys. They're fast guys on the floor. So it'll be interesting to see how, um, just like seeing them, uh, seeing that matchup go out on the court, on the court. Nio, talk to me about the difference in roster then. So if Grizzlies fans, you know, just hadn't kept up with trades and how the roster is all shifted around, what new faces do you have on the roster that we didn't see January 8th? Yeah, so we um, traded away four of our guys. Um, Mike Conley, you know, who is a big... Who we saw. Yeah, who you guys just recently saw when he played uh, um, on yes, the Timberwolves. Yeah. It's so weird to like say, like seeing him post like, you know, Timberwolves stuff. But yeah, so now he's on the Timberwolves Wolves as well as McKeel. Um, and then Jared Vanderbilt and Malik Beasley are now at the Lakers. So I don't know if you guys see them. Do you see them later on the season or no? We do, yes. Okay, so um, yeah, so Malik Beasley, I mean, he was great the last time we played. Um, Mike Conley was always just, you know, just a, a dominating force. Mm -hmm um yeah he's just steady he's Mike Conley um so yeah so it's going to be very very different uh we have now acquired Juan and Damian um mm -hmm. so that's just really really exciting for the Jazz um so this is like a new team everyone's kind of getting used to their new role Colin Sexton is now in the starting lineup because before he was coming off the bench usually as like the sixth man so now um we're seeing more of Colin um and Colin really take that leadership role as the point guard Jordan Clarkson as well. Um, Jordan has talked about just how different it is not having Mike out there and having to step up his game or change his game um, to kind of fit this new uh, dynamic of a team. So yeah, in many ways, I don't know if the Grizzlies are really prepared for, you know, I mean, you're prepared, but it's still, it's different, right? So it's not, there hasn't been so much, um, there has been a lot of research, I guess you would say, on this current jazz team just yet since the trade deadline just happened. So it'll be interesting to see how everything works out. Yeah. A lot of new faces. So although we're playing the jazz for the fourth time, it really is like playing an almost new team. Um, and I want to talk about, we talked about jaw. There's other all-stars though, because we are coming to your town like the day after like tomorrow I come tomorrow, but like the guys will be there Friday, Saturday, Sunday, moving on. We talked about jaw. We also got Jaron and we've got Larry Markinen, who is a, all-star as well yeah um, I want to talk about Jaron for a minute but I want you to first talk about Lowry what has made him an all-star this year what should Grizzlies fans look out for Lowry has just been phenomenal like I mean the I mean he has just been able to really just grow I mean he's an all-star starter right so he's an all-star starter this year which is something that I mean a lot of people have talked about like when we traded away Donovan Mitchell we didn't expect to get another all-star in return and let that be let let it also be a all-star starter um, but he's just been phenomenal. His um, He's a unique player. I mean, he can shoot from three. Um, defensively, he's great. He's fast. Like, he's it's just so – he's just – I can't even really describe who La – Lowry, because his – you just don't – you look at him, you're like, yeah, he's tall. And, like, I'm sure people have, like, you know, watched him play throughout the years. But just the force that he has been to really be one of the best players on the court every single night, um, I mean, he's just absolutely amazing. He's a great scorer offensively it's just it's just been a lot of fun to watch 
Um, and we're really, really happy to have him here on the team. Um, so yeah, I'm just, I'm really excited to see him. Uh, the, I guess the day before All-Star, he's gonna be par participating in the three-point contest mm -hmm. as well. Um, and yeah, we also have a rising star too. So I feel like I should throw that out there as well. Um, and Walker Kessler. <laughs> um, and Walker and Jaren, I know you were about to bring up Jaren, but Walker and Jaren, that'll be another key matchup to watch. Um, I think the last time we talked, um, Walker, the first two games, Jaren was out. Yeah. Um, wasn't playing as much, but now Walker has really stepped up um, to be in the starting lineup. And he's getting more comfortable in that role. And so that'll be exciting. Anytime you get to see Walker kind of go head for head for some of the best in the league, go against all stars. Um, I always just enjoy that challenge. For sure. For sure. Yes. Jaren, as you said, yeah. like a defensive stopper, like a defensive defensive player of the year candidate um, literally has been blocking everything. His scoring seems to be coming a lot easier in the paint. And that was something that else that I want to talk to you. So the Grizzlies are number one in points in the paint um, versus a jazz team that's like middle of the pack, but three point attempts, um, jazz are fifth Grizzlies are about middle of the pack. Both teams, top five pace, both teams, top 10 scoring, top 10 rebounding. When we're talking about top teams in the West, both these teams in that conversation. So, um, give me just like very last before I let you go. Cause I know you're getting ready for the game. You're getting ready for hosting all-star. Yeah, girl, this is my last game before all-star so it is yeah yeah it's one, it's insane one, one more thing Nayo that you're just like excited to see tonight yeah I think for us um Lowry and Jordan have really had to step up especially you talked about the three-point attempts right so um Mike Conley and Malik Beasley I mean their averages they were they were the shooters yeah. right they were, Malik Beasley especially was a, a you know a great three-point shooter um and so you had to kind of Jordan had to, Jordan has always been a shooter shooter shoot right um, but you know, you have to, you have to be more careful about his shot selections as well, but you know, he's making those shots and he's had some really great, the last two games that he's had has been huge for him. Um, so I'm excited to see what Jordan does tonight. Um, I feel like Jordan's going to go out with the bang. Um, that's going to be exciting. So I would say that one, I'm excited to see the numbers that Jordan puts up. All right. Jordan Clarkson. So that means Jordan Clarkson against. I guess like the bench guys, like a Brandon Clark, a Asante Aldama, although Asante might start tonight, but all right. The bench squad, Tyus Jones, even we'll have some, we'll have some good, some good matchups to watch. Nayo for the fourth and final time this regular season. Thank you so much for coming on and talking basketball with us. Of course. Go jazz. <laughs> oh, oh, <laughs> go Grizz. Um, it tips off at seven. <laughs> She's like, go jazz again. Tips off at 7 PM tonight, guys. It is on Valley sports. I think Valley sports plus app. Nayo, I will see you tomorrow in Salt Lake city. See you tomorrow.